South Franklin Dialogue series is almost as old as South Franklin itself. We want this to be open to the public. We want this to be open so that people from any neighborhood, any part of the city, every now and then people from outside the city, we do it because we know that the people who live here have spent their life being involved in the city, being involved in the world. And what they want most is to gather around a speaker that's going to challenge them, just as our speaker tonight, Aaron David Miller, will do. When he talks to us, how does he view the Middle East? We are stuck in a region trapped by small powers who do not share all of our interests, most of whom do not share our values, most of whom have a much greater stake and much more time to expend in this region and are prepared to play by rules that we do not want to accept. The longer you are in the Middle East, the more you risk becoming part of the neighborhood and the more you risk doing the kinds of things that the neighbors do in the neighborhood. It's a way of bearing witness, actually, to the fact that when people retire, they don't give up on caring about their world, about the issues that confront us. My work is all made of paper, and there's a lot of found stuff. I save a lot of stuff, all kinds of books and drawings, and there's sheets of music, there's watercolor junk that most people would throw away. It's, it's really nice to see everything together because you can see the relationships between the 3D stuff and the 2D stuff. And it's lovely for the public to be able to see it. There are about 300 residents here, plus uh, even more staff working all the time. Uh, this is a great resource, not only for the residents uh, of, the, uh, of Judson, but also for the whole community. There's, there's a, a lot of uh, community interaction uh, between the residents. A, a lot of uh, outside residents come in, uh, not only for this, but for exercising classes and swimming. And, and this is one of the things that we offer to the whole community. I had been playing jazz on the second floor occasionally for the Music on the Terrace events. And then one of the residents really enjoyed it and she thought of the idea of bringing it into the grill along with bass and drums for a full-fledged piano trio. And when we tried it the first time, we really liked the ambiance and the residents liked the whole atmosphere of the room. So we kept doing it. I think this is our fifth or sixth time already that we're putting this on tonight. Well, I typically program about 10 to 12 standards from the 40s, along with one or two more recent bebop or more modern jazz pieces, with an audience that knows the tunes as well as they do growing up with these tunes. It's really special for me to play them for this audience here. The grill usually gets packed out with residents. They really enjoy it and they tell each other to remind each other when it's happening and to let, it, let each other know what's coming up for the next one as well. I am a jazz aficionado all my life, and this is real jazz. This is not phony stuff. This is, these are really talented musicians 
people really know how to play jazz and it's very rewarding for me to be here. We know him personally, he lives on our floors, he, he dines with us, he does everything. Uh, we love having him play for us in any form. The jazz, we're here. Classical, he's wonderful. He can do it all.